What's up soldiers? Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen with me. Pineapples on sale everywhere you go. Nice and sweet. Cherries. Full production, full swing coming through here in Ontario, Canada. What am I going to do? We're going to put it together. Pineapple, cherry, chow. It's only a matter of time before it happens. You knew it. Vibes it up, man. Let's check this one out. What's up, soldiers? Don't forget to click subscribe. If you've already clicked subscribe, hit that bell notification thing. I want to all you missing out on the new videos, man. Come on, click. I'm going to break down this pineapple. And you would have seen me break down pineapples before. Like I said, this here, a dollar, man. I can't believe it. Tons of nice pineapple out there. But we're just going to cut off the top. I'm going to discard that. If you've already seen me or if you already know how to prepare a pineapple, no need to watch this. And you can use your favorite chef's knife. I'm just using... I like collecting knives and this one here is from when I was a kid. I love uh, the way it, it, it handles. Now all we're doing is we're cutting the sides and you're just following the contour or the shape of the pineapple and you're going deep enough to remove the, um, the sort of indents. If you wanted to make juice with this, and we've talked about this before, you can use the skin and the sort of core that I'm going to remove from making juice, totally up to you, but I would recommend using organic pineapples if that's the case, simply because you won't have to deal with any sort of pesticides or anything on the skin of the pineapple, no matter how much you wash it. I don't think we would really remove all of it. So you can trim it up now. Then we're going to go down the center. Then there's a woody core in the center here. Some people like using it. I don't like using it. I'm not a fan of it. So I'm just going to cut down the center of that. So we have a nice wedge here. And like I said, we can trim all of that off there if we wanted to. Later on, I will go ahead and sort that out. But for now, let's jump ahead. To make this easier to handle, I'm going to cut that wedge. Then we're going to remove the core, like so. This here, if you want to eat that, you can certainly do that. Not for me. Bite-sized pieces. Nice little pieces here. So there we go. We've got these pieces. So I just showed you how to peel, core, and chop a pineapple. Let's show you again with this piece here. Just taking off the woody part like that, juice or discard, and there you go. Cherries, also very cheap and it's in season right now. So all I did was I cut them in half, removed the seeds, and we've got all those beautiful juicy cherries here. And I know you're watching and thinking, wait a minute, what is Chris doing with grapefruit? Ah, I tell you, you're going to love the flavor of this. Every chow that I do, and if you're new to Caribbean food, and especially from Trinidad and Tobago and the Southern Caribbean, chow is basically a sort of a pickle, a spicy pickle we make with fruits and vegetables. Uh, with fruits, usually the king of all fruits, mango, and we use it when it's green and tart. But today, pineapple, cherries, you're going to love this one, man. But you got to have a little bit of citrus, trust me. So with that said, we're going to go in. With the juice of one grapefruit and that's citrus you know normally I use lemons you've seen me use um, nectar uh, tangerines and clementines you've seen me use limes you can use all those things but I thought today I'd play around with the flavor of it with all that lovely grapefruit juice just gonna try and juice that out and this is gonna be spicy there's no two ways about it how much pepper you put and the type of pepper you use is totally up to you all I have and you'll see it in the far corner down there is bird's eye pepper or bird pepper so that is what I'll be using today habanero scotch bonnet mmm real thing next up we need some black pepper and I like using sea salt it may seem like a lot of salt but it will bring out all the flavors of that pineapple, especially if it's a bit tart and the tartness from the, the grapefruit, the grapefruit juice. 
I went ahead and I chopped up seeds and everything. And I want those seeds in there. And if you have ever had chow and you see that juice that's gonna form on the bottom there, that is pure gold. That is where all that flavor is gonna lie. We need a few more things though. And a key ingredient in chow, shadow bin, also known as culancho if you cannot get it. Check your West Indian stores first, your Latin stores, as well as your Asian markets. They usually have them. Have it. If you cannot source it, there's a little bit of a tarnished piece there. You can always use cilantro, but culancho or shadow benny, more pronounced flavor, very Caribbean. Just the way to go. Next up, we're going to go in with some crushed garlic in there and add as much garlic as you can handle. In my case here, I love garlic, so I'm going to go in with four cloves of garlic and the full list of ingredients will be listed down below in the description box, so don't fret too much. So I'm just going to go ahead and work in those other two cloves of garlic in here. Another thing I like to rock and chow, thinly sliced red onions. You know the last time I shared a chow recipe with you guys, someone said, red onions? That is not chow. Honey, honey. Now because you don't put it doesn't mean to say it cannot go in there. Trust me on that one. Thinly sliced red onions. You're gonna get that sort of crunch. Ooh, papa. And now all we have to do is to toss in all that pineapple that we prepared at the start there and give everything a good mix. To make it easier for us to mix, I'm just going to toss it all into a bigger bowl here. And <laughs> we're playing with fiery peppers. Those peppers are hot peppers. There are no two ways about it. So you may want to use a spoon or something to do what I'm doing here. But you really want to bruise the pineapple. And you hear that slush slush on the bottom there? That is where all that flavor is going to be. So you really want to bruise it and let all that juice from that pineapple come out. And you're done, you're pretty much done, you know. Put it in a nice little container there. Set it off to marinate a little bit. Put it in the fridge and you're golden. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Probably the first time you're seeing this one here. Pineapple cherry chow. You gotta love it, you gotta give it a try. Remember, you can taste it here for salt, adjust it accordingly. But I would allow it to marinate for a bit, maybe about half an hour to an hour before you adjust the salt on there. If you wanted to go with a bit of lemon juice or lime juice, you can certainly do that. If you want to put some water in there, you can do that. If you wanted to add more pepper in there, you can do that. There's all kind of personalization you can do here. But anyhow, great, great little summertime something to serve outside. Some adult beverages are just saying.